my last BMW M2 drifting video is pretty popular, so I decided to hand the keys over to my buddy here. I got the car warmed up, just about up to temperature, 63 degrees and sunny here in beautiful California. I'm going to hand the keys over to my buddy and let him take the BMW M2 out for some drifting. So that was definitely a security dude. I've never had a security dude come up to me like that. And like, he took his phone out and like took a picture of me, it looked like, and probably called the cops. It feels like I'm in like Grand Theft Auto right now, trying to like lose some stars I just got. I'm like out here, like hiding out over here. Just debating just going home, just in case, you know, they sent an officer looking for a, for uh, this particular car because I'm a pretty describable person and this car is too kind of <laughs> uh, that didn't go as planned and actually the funny part is kind of like I saw the security guy kind of in front and I just kind of went around back before I passed the keys off to my buddy but yeah it was almost like he was like sitting there waiting for waiting for me to like start making some noise back there because like as soon as I did he was like right there Okay, so I got a little bit spooked after they took a picture of my friend back there drifting a little bit in the parking lot. Uh, anyway though, that's going to be it, but um, I'm thinking about maybe trading this BMW M2 for something else. It's, you know, a great car, you know, the E46 M3 was like my dream car back in the day, but the M2 is like the modern equivalent of that. Anyway though, this car is great and it's really, you know, there's nothing that this car is really lacking, but it's been two and a half years now since I've had this BMW M2 and I'm just kind of thinking about you know trying something different and I've got a few different cars that are on my mind but if you guys have some suggestions leave them in the comments below and I would take that definitely into consideration um, I'm really not exactly sure what I, what I want but I have kind of had this itch to get a convertible for like a couple years now really I thought about almost buying like a second car you know this car plus like a convertible but now I'm kind of like in a situation where I can't have two cars it doesn't really make sense uh, so I just got to stick with one car anyway though uh, I'll let you know one car I have on my mind and that is a Porsche or Porsche um, I've always said Porsche even though I know it's Porsche but it, I'm thinking about, you know, this is probably, I don't know if this would work for me or not, but like a Porsche Boxster. 
or maybe the Cayman. The Cayman obviously looks better, but you know, obviously the Boxster is a convertible. I don't even know if I would fit in that car to tell you the truth. You know, I'm six foot five, so I was kind of hoping Daddy Doug did a review on a Porsche Boxster, Porsche Cayman, but he hasn't. Doug, Doug DeMiro is about the same height as me. I'm maybe a little bit taller, but if he could fit in it, I could. And there's not really any for sale around here used. So I don't know. I think it'd be a fun car. Obviously, it wouldn't be, well, depending on the spec, it wouldn't be as fast as the M2, but that's okay. I'm really just kind of looking for um, a different experience. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions, you know. Uh, can't be something super old. It's got to be like seven years old or newer probably uh, Anyway, though, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, there's a sheriff back there scary scary Hopefully he's not coming for me Looks like he's doing a little u-turn and leaving hopefully Man, I'm like spooked by that dude taking a picture of my friend drifting in the parking lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think for a good convertible sports car.